Many of these girls here undertake similar work with their male counterparts but also endure additional hardship and face extra risks. Moreover, girls are all too often exposed to some of the worst forms of child labor often in hidden work situations. Civil society organizations are relaunching their efforts monitoring on how government is enforcing the national child labor policy passed in 2006 to eliminate child labor in Uganda. Civil society organizations are mandated to provide a feedback to government on the national labor child policy as a consequence of monitoring the policy. The policy spells out different preventive, protective, and rehabilitative strategies and calls for government commitment interventions sought. The Child Labor Forum, which brings together line ministries, probation, and police officers, rights activities, civil society organizations met this morning at Katikati Restaurant for information sharing, discussions on legal policy formulation, and monitoring. Child exploitation is a very big problem in Uganda, and particularly when you look at factors of child exploitation like uh, child labor, where you find children are taken in the labor industry when it is really indeed illegal. So we still have a long way to go but I would like to proudly say that we have interventions in place to ensuring that we address this issue what we've called here as participants that child labor is a monster child labor refers to the work that is mentally physically or morally dangerous and harmful to children since 2002 different actors on child labor have convened for the purpose of finding options to fight child labor in Uganda but little is there to show players now seek hold government accountable for its commitment to the fight in that policy government denotes different strategies preventive protective rehabilitative strategies that it would use to fight child labor we need to build on that we already have different actors law enforcement officers the family and child protection how can we build these entities uh, in terms of finances resources personnel to build them to champion elimination of child labor in the country in order to succeed in eliminating child labor, the state has the first duty to ensure that children benefit the communities can best plan, implement and sustain plan for the children. Sauma Ali, Bahati Remi, Richard Biencha, NBS TV, Platinum News.